for this next reaction, we've got women rank themselves by breast size. Jubilee. <laughs> jubilee, 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 jubilee. One thing y'all know about me, Chef, is that I'm going to find out what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna find out what we're talking about. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. First things first, chat. Y'all know girls like per size, right? Girls on the bigger side tend to have like actual bigger, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like these couple girls might have bigger ones just not, like just off, you feel me? Just off straight size. But I feel like a sleeper, I feel like this girl's gonna be a sleeper. I, like this girl might just have some yoinkers on her i don't know or this girl this girl might be a sleeper too you can tell by her face you can tell she just one of them this girl look like she got too much lower body to have the upper body though so she gonna be she gonna be you feel me she she dumb skinny so like i don't i don't know she look like she got you feel me she got she she got the little she got the she got the little booty on her but she don't got no you know what i'm saying this she definitely a p-bill for sure so we, we'll see we'll see what this talking about i don't one Let's see who got a knife. Ah, I don't really like her fit because I don't like how these pants fit Tell on her. Tell me what. But yeah, I don't really like none of these fits. the ideal breast size. Like one that you could at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I feel like a C is I, a good one. I, I yeah. also agree. Yeah, yeah not you could push big, pretty big up and have see. more. Turn off the sensors. Yeah, just turn off the sensors. Yeah. Or you could leave it down and be chilling. Just turn off the sensors? Do any of you amazing ladies uh, name your boobs? <laughs> oh yeah, if, if, a, if a girl named their boobs, they, they're humongous. Like if a girl named their, if a girl named their they're they're like out of they're out of this world. Mine no way. To do with the size. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. What's everyone's like go-to style of bra that they wear? I honestly only ever really wear sports bras or like bralettes. Um, I'm just not an underwire girly. Like I right. just, I find them so uncomfortable to wear like a full on bra. Oh, okay. Gosh, I, I can only find like select styles. So like the only things. Okay. I can... Only find select styles. GGs. I can find are like the balcony GGs. type bras and they all have the wire and yeah. I need the wire. I mean, <laughs> destiny. Thank you so much. I think maybe a clarifying question is like, if you have to leave your home, do you like to wear your bra or not? Comfortable without a bra out in public or no? No, not no. comfortable at I'm all. Comfortable. <laughs> okay, not I'm comfortable. I'm yeah. comfortable. Oh. I'm okay without it, uh, to be honest with you, because I go to Mexico and it's more free, so you can not care about what people say facts. without. I don't. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but facts. I just believe in CC. Depends on the way that people look at you. Like I think it's not bad to look; it's bad to stare. You should probably come over to this side. I think she should be. Yeah, I. Yeah, be, like I the first. Yeah. Oh no, nah, you can, you can, you can tell her shit not that because you feel me. Uh. Can anyone suck their own nipple? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who can? Anybody that says yes, anybody that says yes, I need proof. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Bridget. Bridget. Yes. I was gonna say some menace ass shit. Bridget. But I don't have no menace music on my soundboard. Hey, it wasn't gonna be funny. Anise all down here also Not on my yes. resume though. Anise. You oh, yeah. can suck on your own nipple, Anise. Yeah. Oh, yeah I think yeah, you should me. probably go a little bit. Down. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. So do we feel like the two that could suck? But like, their own nipples. She she hasn't said a, a word this whole time. They should probably be like At all the way over there. Or yeah. Like, could everyone tell I can't. I'm a guy though. Nigga, I probably could too. Hold on. Wait, nipple is crazy. I don't know. Uh, nigga, I could. Nigga, yes. Nigga, that's easy. What? In their mind is the ideal breast size. I feel like, mm. Like one that you could at least like hold in the palm of your hand. I think that is a decent size. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I also agree. I like and I would also like to hold some in my hand. A C is a good Any offers? I see. Yeah. Any C. offers? C. Yeah. yeah, not too big. You could push big, pretty big up and have C. more. Yeah. Or you could leave exactly. it down and be chilling. Yeah. Has anyone ever considered surgery? 100%. Oh, yes, yes. A thousand percent. Hundred percent. Every day, right? Yeah. I've actually had surgery already. Oh, so I feel like she she had surgery to get her. I feel like she might have had surgery to get hers bigger. 
Do you regret it or you Cause I, I don't know. She made that choice. So I actually got it done in Tijuana in Mexico um, with I'm guessing not board certified surgeon. I don't necessarily regret it. I just wish I had gone with a better surgeon. I know that like a lot of influence comes from societal standards. Right. Um, oh. But I think ultimately you can always talk to your doctors about you know what would be the best decision for you. But if you have the money and the time and you can do it, like nigga said, they fucked her up. It's gonna make you happy. I feel like you should she's probably pretty, she's pretty, though. move over there then a little bit. Okay. She's pretty. And then if you went to Tijuana, I'm gonna guess it was probably to go get bigger. Right? Yeah. So how old were you guys when you guys got your, you started getting like breast and having to start? Like late eighth grade, third, fourth grade. Yeah. For me, like when my breast Please started relax. growing, that was like when I started to become a woman. And I don't know, I just feel like that was a big transition part. It's kind of when you get your period for the first time. Right. I feel like people who were like uh, later bloomers might be like a little more towards the right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think. You want to sweat? Yeah, we should switch. Okay. I feel like she. I feel like she's pretty too. I feel like this girl's pretty okay. too. Okay. I think you should go a little bit more over there. So okay. I'm gonna bring you this way. Any back issues? Yes. yes. Back pain? Yes. 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 Oh Lower back pain. Yeah. I get tension headaches by the end of the day. I think a lot of it is linked to my bra. Now I've heard that. I've heard that from back pain and like trap pain situation, but I don't get the tension headaches. So I feel like that's should be more this way. What do you yeah. guys feel is more likable from like society's viewpoint? What? I think society tends to favor larger breasts, um, whether it's like the Hollywood, like blonde bombshell situation or whether- it's Me personally, me personally, in, in my society, think like me, I just like, I like, I like women. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like titties in all safe shapes and sizes, <laughs> if you will. No titty at all. Or like Latinas are expected to be like curvaceous. Real. It's usually large breasts. Yeah, like, that's what yeah, they go for. I agree. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people are more, a lot more stricter on booty, on booty when sizes. When men try to put their opinion on breast size, it makes me want to change who I am to be something that they don't But I'm not, like I'm not going, I'm like not going, you feel me? I'm not going to like, voice my opinion on a woman body because I'm not a woman, you feel me? I just like specialized breasts so much. I just like them both. That it makes me just want to run in the opposite direction of what they want. Yeah, growing up in high school and junior high, it was like so awful for like guys to like backhand compliment, you know, when they're like, oh, like it's okay, you don't have this or you have this that's better. That was always frustrating when guys would fucked. so like completely offend you. I've lived in America. That's so fucked. But I also used to spend my entire summers in Japan and the societal expectations specifically from straight men that judge women are so different. Everybody over there, the expectation is to have like smaller breasts. Whereas in America, I feel like a lot of people think that you have to have large breasts. I love them all. How does everyone feel? You good over here, Shorty? Good. Yeah, okay. I'm good with this. Me pers personally, I feel like if a if a girl's pretty, like if a girl's to me, if a girl's pretty, I can I can weigh my like you feel me. I'll weigh the options. Like I love I love a nice like I love a nice body, but looks trump a nice body to me. Some nigg some niggas some niggas will hit a thick ass hippo like like a girl that dad ass look like Gloria off a of, off of Madagascar, which is fine, but that's not what that's not what I like. Meet the breast size expert. Breast size expert. I'm still in my room. <laughs> I haven't left. So what are we talking about here? There's literally no one better. There's no one better. So I'm a professional bra fitter. I've been doing it for just over a year. Hold on. Give me, give me one second. The average annual pay for a work from home bra fitting specialist in the United States is 50 50,248. Damn. Look, it's not that much money in it, but you get to be you touching titties all day. It's like way way your options. Way your options. Way your options. Way your options. Um basically there's way two options. measurements. There's an underbust measurement and there's an overbust measurement. So you take them tape measure, you'll measure around your underbust. That number, if it's even, take that number. If it's odd, round up to an even number. Right. And you'll take your overbust number. Um, and each inch of difference. Between never got sized by a man, I will never. Is a cup size. So for example, Drat. I measure 40 around. 
and 45 over. Five Dang flabby. The difference is A, B, C, D, E. So I'm a 40 E. She is pretty. Most of these girls are pretty. Nigga said, better see some Z's in this motherfucker. Y'all are fucking freaks. Yo, did y'all see how low down she went? Nigga, did you see how low down she went? Oh no, GG's, her shits are ginormous. <laughs> Brofitters make you feel so uncomfortable. When have, well, like, like, do you set up an appointment with a Brofitter? Or do y'all, like, I was wondering that. Like, do girls set up an appointment with Brofitters or do they just like, do they just try on like mad bras until they, until they get one? They do it at the store? Tell you shit. Hello. Hey, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Oh, oh, that looks so you're cute. You're all gorgeous. Oh, this yes. is so cute. So, smallest in seventh, Cameron. Who's Cameron? This is oh, her? what it is. I told y'all, chat. I said she I said she looked like she might be kind of like, she like she might be kind of thick. So it's like, I'm knowing she going to be kind of, she might be kind of thick, but she not going to have no titties. <laughs> Hey, you know, yes. Sixth, Lupe. Okay. What? Yes. Really? I was surprised by Lupe. Just the personality was just so great and infectious. I don't know. I feel like with big boobs, you, you kind of have to have a little bit of confidence. They, they got a, a what? Yeah. Nigga, I thought all the big girls was dead. So, nigga, if the big girls are at the bottom, nigga, how big, are, how big of titties are we talking about here? Fifth, Maya. Fourth, Destiny. Okay. Third, Amanda. Okay, Second, they got those three right. Bridget. And first. Damn, they got they got the, they got everybody else right. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, Anise, I'm scared for what the fuck Anise got. Oh my gosh! I remember talking to my grandma about what I was gonna be doing this weekend, and my little cousin heard the conversation, and I heard him talking to his mom on Facetime. She was like, "She's gonna do a booby video. I think she's gonna win." <laughs> I think she's gonna win. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Yo, just say your your bus size. Thirty two B. Okay, that's 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 that's. Ah! <laughs> that's slight. I'm thirty eight C. Twenty eight F. The, the 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 third from lowest person just said what? A B C D E. F. Thirty F. Thirty F. Thirty G. Okay. Forty two G. Thirty one I. Holy shit. Nigga, that is craziness. I think I threw them off because I was- Chat, y'all understand? I, I, I personally, listen, I personally, y'all know, y'all know, I, we talked about this before. We, I don't got the biggest, I don't got the biggest hands ever. But I make up for it, I make up for it. And the amount of space my mouth could fit, chat. I could, I could, nigga, I'll turn the, I'll turn the Kirby in front of a titty, nigga. Nigga, I'm turning the Kirby in front of a big titty, nigga. I'm, uh, that motherfucker up. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? There, and I'm definitely not there. Stop. <laughs> uh, I do believe it has to do a lot with the attitude that you Stop. bring to yourself. I have a breast size that it's particularly seen as really small and not very appealing because I've always been- Look, look, <laughs> look, look, at, look at what I could, look at, I ain't never showed y'all what I could do with my cheeks. Y'all think it ain't space in here? Look how much I can put my face. Chat, y'all think it ain't space in here, nigga? What the fuck are we talking about? Nigga, it's mad space in this bitch, nigga. What are you talking about here? And my breasts don't match my body. So it's, so it's it has been an issue, but I think it's more the way that I carry myself. So who was the one who got breast surgery? Me. 
Oh, so you got them larger? Yes, yeah, so I got them larger. I had some brush tissue prior and then I lost weight and then I lost my boobs and then I got them back. But I just wish I went to a better surgeon, that's all. Oh, yeah. No, but they look nice though. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Did anyone have a different idea of what their brush Yo, was? nigga, her shit's dead ass go like zwoosh. Chats, dude. They literally go like whoop. That was before they just got measured. I thought it was a double D, but I was a G. Yeah, I thought it was a 40 E, but I'm a 42 G. <laughs> I think I'm an A, honestly. Do you guys know what the national average breast size is? No. no. It's a 34 double D. That's average? What? Double D? I'm what? Done. I'm double freaking D? done. Yeah, exactly. No wonder they're sold Is out. Is that bigger than you guys thought it would be or smaller? Yes. Bigger, Double D, bigger. it's the cup. It's the whole thing. Half the stores don't sell that size in store. Right. Like, that's crazy. Like, we all have we all have boobs. Like, why why is it so taboo that, like, women have cleavage and large? Right. Like, why is it so taboo? Destiny, I'm one of the same. Destiny, me and you would get along. <laughs> me and you would get along. <laughs> that's all that I know. Why is it so taboo? I wonder. Dress. If you have big boobs and you love them, that's awesome. Right. If they cause you health issues and you want to change them, that's also awesome. Facts. If you have small tits, get Facts. I'm getting a redux as soon as I have enough money. I know I know a girl, I know a couple girls, I know a girl that got a redux when we were still in high school. And her shits grew back though. Her shits grew back though, nigga. I was like, whoa. Need a Friday. Said, bitch, I'm the man from the A like I'm Wabe. She teaching me Spanish, I told her like Bali. She wanted a side of me, I got the carne. Damn, ayy. The way I be weaving through traffic, little shawty said, damn, babe.